Hey guys, well here we are today uh, working back on the G0602 and the Altros turret. Now in the last video we machined uh, our first part with the using the Altros turret and today's video I want to finish doing some setup. I need to set up my tooling blocks here and so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting in some uh, boring tools. Uh, I'll be using these for boring tools, drill bits, and I also want to set one of them up uh, for a TTS collet. But in today's video, we're going to be setting it up for this half inch uh, boring bar. And the way we go about doing this will be the same for all the other tools. So in order to go about setting this up, we need to make sure that the height of our tool is correct. Now. The most logical way for me to uh, determine where the height of the tool is going to be in the block here, uh, it seemed to me that the best method was just to uh, rotate it to a empty block here, put the center drill here in the spindle, make sure I am centered in the Y direction, and the Z height will automatically be set for me when it's rotated to that position. So that was uh, fairly simple. So what I think I'm going to do is just I'm going to go through a series of drill bits here and drill this hole out and then what I'll do is I'll come back with a, a reamer and finish that hole. Now this is actually uh, 12 millimeters so I had to pick up some metric reamers and I'm going to give those a shot. So I've got this uh, 12 millimeter reamer here. Never used these. These were, you know, inexpensive reamers, but I think it should do the trick. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll get started. And we're going to first center drill this, uh, and then we're just going to go through a series of drill bits and bore that hole out. It should be pretty straightforward. going to jog this in slowly. I've got my jog speed at about 1% here. I'm just going to uh, change this out for a drill bit and we'll start drilling a series of holes until we get to our uh, 12 millimeter or close to 12 millimeter. So let me get the next drill bit in here. All right, I've got my next drill bit in here and we'll just drill this all the way through, put a little cutting oil there. We'll swap that out with a little bit bigger drill bit. All right, a little bit larger drill bit here. That is all the way through. So let me swap that out for yet another bigger, larger size. We'll just keep increasing this until we get to our half inch. All right, 
right, we'll change this out for a slightly bigger bit. All right, one more drill bit here. This should be the last drilling op. Undersized metric drill here, so this is a 15, 30 seconds. All right, we finished with that. So now we can come back with a reamer. Uh, one important thing to note is whatever you do, do not move your X axis here while we're doing this. All right, this is a 12 millimeter reamer here. So we're going to uh, go a little bit slower here with this. I'm thinking 300 RPMs probably will be good and we'll be good. Let me deburr that hole and then we're going to check it for fit. Whoops. Alright, that's nice. I think that's going to be really good. So all we have is just a screw here. You can use a uh, a set screw but I'm just using a uh, socket head screw here I threaded this for M6 now I left this a little bit long so we could I could move it in or out you know the only thing we have to be careful of is it doesn't go back far enough to hit the turret here sorry so what I have to be careful of is it doesn't go back far enough to hit the turret and as it comes around this all right so I've got to be careful that it doesn't go through there enough to where it you know will come by when it's rotating and clip this although it does push out a little bit so we'll have it stick through just a hair like so I got to deburr that side. I haven't taken it off to do that yet, but we'll leave it out a little bit. And then we'll just set set up, uh, tighten up the set screw. It's hand tightened there. I got to get an Allen wrench, but now you can see that we're all set up. Uh, for this particular tool and then we'll just go in here and um, set up our offsets from tool one just like we did for our other tools here we'll set this up as well now, of course this is for internal boring but we could do some external turning on the outside uh, if we rotate the spindle in reverse so we could do some uh, side turning if we wanted to here but this is set up uh, this is for internal boring. All right, so let's rotate this around so we can see how this works. So you can see here what I was talking about, making sure that it's not so long that it hits anything as it rotates around. You can see I left uh, plenty of room there. So it doesn't clip any of this as it's turning around. It also kind of pushes out before it turns, so that'll be good. Now with tools sticking out like this, we've got to be mindful of our radius here. Uh, we're only going to be able to turn uh, a certain size diameter, so we may have to remove, remove these for certain uh, 
projects that we're working on, but for the most part it should be okay for the small turnings and stuff. So now that's set up. Uh, I guess that'll wrap up this video. Uh, as you can see, we've set the height. It was pretty easy for us to get the height set on this. Uh, let me rotate again. All right. So you can see the height is automatically set because when the turret's locked in position, the way we uh, bored and drilled the blocks here, uh, there was no way for the Z height to be off. And as far as the X, that really doesn't matter. We can, it doesn't. Ha I just happened to put it in the center here, but it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't really matter. You can put it uh, one way or the other slightly, and it'll still. Uh, be fine because we're going to use our offsets there to uh, work on that. So I've got this uh, drill chuck with this homemade TTS collet and I use this in my lathe. Um, also I want to be able to use uh, ER collets like this so I want to machine out one of these with a three quarter inch a hole in it and then I'm also going to machine some uh, for drill bits that I use uh, quite often. Guys, that'll wrap up this week's video. Uh, next week, stay tuned. I'm going to be showing off a new screen set that I designed specifically for the Altros turret for the Mach 3 turn. So stay tuned for that video. Guys, if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in, click on the subscribe button down here below. That way, if I post a new video like this one and you're interested, you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.